everyone, Melissa here with Time Clock Wizard. Today, I'll be showing you how to set up PTO for your employees. On the left menu of your dashboard, click on Employee to open your employee list. On the top of your employee list, you'll find the wheel icon. Click on it to open your global settings for all employees. Under the Employee Settings tab, click on Paid Time Off. Here, you'll see a list of your current PTO codes. If you would like to add a new PTO code, type the name of the code in this box, and then click on Add New PTO Code. To set up a PTO code, click on Settings next to the corresponding code. This will open the PTO Accrual Settings window. Here you can designate how PTO time is awarded. First, you can set the award frequency, whether PTO is awarded yearly, every pay period, or based on hours worked. The rest of the settings will change depending on the award frequency. For example, if PTO is awarded yearly, I can set how many hours are awarded after one year. If PTO is awarded based on number of hours, I can set how many hours are awarded based on a number of hours worked. For this particular setting, you can also set whether to include overtime hours or break time towards PTO. The next setting is use it or lose it. This means that if there's a positive balance for this code at the end of the year, it will reset back to zero, and any time accrued will be lost. Lastly, you can set when PTO time resets, whether it's on your company's fiscal year, employee's anniversary date, or employee's hiring date. If you do not set a fiscal year or hire date, January 1st will be used by default. You can also customize the settings to be specific to one employee. Click on the name of the employee whose settings you would like to change. Under the Edit Employee menu, scroll until you find Pay Time Off. Here you can view the PTO codes and the corresponding time that the employees have recruited for each code. Click on Edit to change the settings for each code. 